Hello fam, welcome. And in this video, you're going to learn how to design a background and also get some tips to help you polish your background just so that your designs will stand out nice and beautifully. Okay, very clear and sharp. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to learn in this video. And I'm simplicity. Today, I'm just wearing some cool J. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I don't know how it is, but that's what i'm wearing guys so let's jump right into today's business and let's catch it up okay guys peace so guys these tips i'm about to share with you we have already talked about it in the methods in this video card that will pop up up there so please if you have missed that video kindly watch it so that you can keep in touch i am going to throw more highlights on it with a particular method which is the solid background method so i'm going to throw more highlights on it and sh show you how you get some images for the background and also show you my technique i use and also my ways i use in designing the background to make my entire design stand out well okay guys so without wasting much time let's get right into today's video all right guys okay guys in this video i am going to show you how i made this flyers background design okay so let's get into it i have already created my web page okay and in this video i am going to create the background which i am going to start okay so this is it i created a gradient for the background and this is going to be shortened because we don't want to make this video long and this is it this is the gradient from here i'm going to bring something like a lubricant the lubricant is to just make the background designing so interesting and with more details so the lubricant is called texture and i'm going to show you in a minute um, how to get the texture but just look at how i am arranging this lubricant which is the texture on the page i am making sure it fits to the top of the page i mean to the entire body of the web page okay just as you are seeing it all right guys so this is it this is what you are seeing and we are not going to leave it there i am going to make sure to blend it into the background and this is what the blending method of designing a background does so this is it just as you are seeing it from there i make sure to brush some portion off just so that um i don't get it all filling um with texture okay this is what i am talking about and from there i'm just going to make sure to bring in this tomb image okay this tomb image is a background design or background image i got from pinterest okay so let me show you how i get my textures okay which serves as a lubricant for the background images or or background um colors okay so let me show you in a video right now all right guys so guys this is how i get my textures for the background i go to pinterest okay i open the pinterest app those of you that do not have pinterest please don't kindly download it and it will help you a lot okay so i go to pinterest and make sure to go to the search engine and search for background textures so this is the keyword background textures background textures so anytime you want some textures just to serve as a lubricant the lubricant is something like um it is to make more details come onto the design just to make it thick and interesting okay so um it is really helpful and i think if you notice it is going to help boost help help you polish um, your background designing and also make your design come out exquisitely all i'm going to do is to just make a duplicate okay this step is so simple okay i'm just using the same tomb image so please take notes okay so i'm just going to make a duplicate just as you're seeing it and take one of the duplicates and just give it a blending mode okay i'll send it to the darker blending mode just so that it blends with the background color okay just as you're seeing it so this is so cool and from there i'll just bring back um the other duplicated one and just make sure it also um, shows clearly just as it is okay but then i'm going to separate it from the one i blended okay into the background color okay so i'm going to separate it by cleaning okay so this is it just as you have seen it i'm just going to clean it so it is just the same tomb image but just that um, it has been duplicated and 
one is being cleaned from its original one okay so just as you're seeing it so um it is so simple and easy so from there all i'm going to do is to um make sure um, i get my design blending into the background by cleaning their sharp edges on them okay from there i'll just claim the size because the essence is to make um the uh, duplicated one that was blended into the background color show up on the design just as you're seeing it so that it won't be all um clear like that this is way cool so just as you are seeing it so this is how i get my backgrounds going on my flyers okay so this is easy and let's box on from there i'm going to just um, reduce the textures um opacity just so that i get it uh, light on the page you can also choose to make it deep by increasing the opacity but it is all on you all right guys so uh, most time what i do is to blur it out a bit so um i'm going to blur the tomb image out a bit and the essence is to make sure that um no one sees the tomb image clearly okay so um that is what i do and most times i do that for the purpose of making it not clear to the eye so that is what i do all the time and it gets my design working sharp sharp for me okay guys so that's it so this is how i create most of my backgrounds for my designs and i hope this helped and if it helped please kindly let me know in the comment section so that i can create more of this to help you out because i am here for you and you are also here for me so this is the actual design you are watching right here and um this is the speed art process okay so for us not to waste time um i'll just drop the card to this video again just so that you watch it again all right guys so kindly watch the video up there and i'll be very much appreciated just so that you understand the concept i am talking about fully all right guys um i hope this video helped you and if it did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button just so that you'll be a part of my family here on youtube and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for you to be notified anytime i drop a new video for you okay in my next video i am going to bring um how you can get these background images for yourself and um get it suitable for the details your clients have given you so um catch you up in my next video okay guys please i am going to recommend this video to you if you are a beginner and you don't know how to design um, a flyer in full okay from the background to the entire body of the flyer i am going to recommend this video that will pop up on the um, end screen as you're going it will pop up just click on it and it will take you to the video for you to practice and see you next time in my next video all right guys i salute you all bye bye bye